as you may remember, thousands of people took to the streets of Chicago for a day without immigrants rally, hoping to send a clear message of the importance of immigrants in the United States. Tomorrow, thousands are hoping to send that same message about women in the workplace. And as CBS 2's My Martinez reports, one company is closing for the day so its employees can take part. Today, it's business as usual at Paco Collective, but tomorrow, the cross-cultural marketing agency with big-name clients like ComEd and Blue Cross Blue Shield will be closing in solidarity with the Day Without a Woman movement. The agency couldn't exist without women, and it's a real tangible sort of proof of the contributions that um, women make. Godina says women make up 73% of his workforce of 50 employees. Many of them took time today to write to lawmakers about the importance of equality for women in the workplace. The more women participate in this, the more we get heard and the faster action will happen. And when you say action, what kind of action are you hoping? Action, equality for women, equality, uh, equal pay, you know, equal promotions. This isn't the first time Paco Collective has closed to support a cause. Last month, it shut its doors for the Day Without Immigrants movement. What kind of business loss is this going to be for you? In a tangible way, it, it would be, you know, thousands of dollars in man hours that we actually bill our clients. Paco employees say their commitment to the cause sends a clear message. We are not going to give up. We we always in everything we do, we always try to be overachievers because of what women have been uh, have gone through uh, in history. Even though they're not working tomorrow, all Paco employees will be paid. Godina says many of his company's clients were supportive of the decision to close. Godina says he plans to make this an annual event and he hopes other companies will do the same. Live in the newsroom, my Martinez, CBS 2 News, Robin Erica. Thanks, Mai.